it's Ty Bug. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you. Thank you so much for being so patient with me while I was letting my wrist recover. It is doing a lot better. Um, for what I'm doing today, I can't really wear my brace, so there may be like moments where it cuts randomly. That's me taking a break again. It, it's, it's on and off still, but it's improving. Anyway, so today I am making honey toast. <laughs> I love honey toast. If you've seen my Japan video, you will see that me and my friends love honey toast. So it was recently my birthday and my best friend's birthday and we love getting honey toast together. So I figured what better way to celebrate that than making it easy for us to make honey toast. Um, also, I'm not a big like birthday cake person. I don't know why I did parentheses. I mean, it's actual birthday cake. I just... I, I don't eat sweets that often, so when I get like a big cake and stuff, I can't finish it and then it goes bad and then I feel really bad because it went bad. So I actually got cupcakes for my birthday. Can you see them? They're like the Safeway ones. But I also wanted some honey toast and I'm missing Japan so much, so let's get started. And I was really surprised that it's really easy to make and I don't know why I've just never done it before. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, so this is a little weird. I was kind of debating if this was like in different like degrees or how they did it, but it says just to preheat the oven to 180. I don't even think I have a setting for 180, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay, I think if anything, it's gonna be 175 or 200. So hopefully that's not too bad. My bangs aren't cooperating with me today. This is what we're gonna get. We're just gonna have messy bangs, okay? <laughs> Good enough. Okay, so then my next big uh, challenge was finding bread that wasn't sliced. Everything is sliced bread apparently. So I have white bread here and I got this just from Don Quixote. It's just like the type of bread they, I don't know what it's called, kambaku? It's just white bread that was sliced into bigger slices because I couldn't find any loaves. I think that is where like restaurants get it good because they just like make it themselves. So I thought to combat that, I will just do two slices because then that looks like the regular thickness of one slice of honey toast. So it'll be a little disjointed, but that's okay. I'm just gonna make one one slice so then after i do that then i'm gonna get my knife i think just a bread knife would be fine right i don't need to get like a chink 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 knife i can just use a bread knife i also have i feel like this would be easier on my wrist so i'm just gonna use this little sharper knife i think it's like a steak knife or something okay and then you're gonna cut the crust off but we're saving the crust the crust is the good part Okay, that didn't really cut down here. Okay, I guess I'll have to do it separately. Oops. And I'm just leaving a little bit on the crust. Do you see that? And I'm dropping uh, crumbs everywhere. Mika, come clean this up. Okay, there's my first cube out. Okay, and then I do the insides into other little cubes. This will be pretty easy. You know, what would be even easier is if I put the uh, butter and honey on it before I cut it so then I don't have to do it on each individual piece. We thinking ahead. I'm just using regular spreadable butter. And I don't know how much you need, so I'm just gonna coat it. How do chefs do this? Because I'm sure they have like some elegant w way of doing it so it doesn't get everywhere because I just realized once I cut this then I'm gonna have to do all the sides that didn't have butter on 
Oh, and it's coming apart. Ah, uh, I bet spray butter is the way to go with this. Just spray it on and bam, you're done. Oh man, just dropping butter everywhere. Okay, now to cut this bread. I was gonna use this plate to serve it on, but I don't think that's the ideal serving plate now. And then this needed. Let me do the pan now. <laughs> Avoid the problem. And you're just gonna put parchment paper on that. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it. It's got some butter on it. And then... And then the honey, I'm just gonna drizzle it on there. I'm not the biggest fan of honey, which is kind of funny because I love honey toast. But like if it's something where I can like literally feel the honey globs, then it's like, bleh. I don't, I am a weird, I have weird food preferences. Okay, I didn't put butter on the crust, so that may be a mistake, but, oh, there was butter on the ground and I stepped on it. Ooh, gross. Okay, anyways, next, line baking tray, coat cubes with butter and honey. Well, mm, we did most of it. Bake for 10 minutes until brown and crispy. So I'll see you in 10 minutes and then we can like decorate it and make it all pretty and yummy. So the first 10 minute buzzer went off and they aren't brown at all. They're just still white bread. <laughs> so I'm gonna let it toast for probably another 10 minutes. I have a really old uh, oven, so it might just take a long time. Also, I forgot to mention that this recipe is by Chopstick Chronicles. I'll link them down below. But see, look at that, I've written it all down. I'm excited to eat some honey toast. It's like, oh my God, it's four o'clock. I haven't eaten lunch yet. Dessert first. Okay, yeah. See you probably in like a 20 minutes. <laughs> Maybe I should increase the heat. Nah, nah, I'll follow the recipe. Okay. <laughs> so I increased the uh, temperature on the honey toast. I It's not looking brown at all, but I like poked it and it's getting kind of crispy. So I think this may just be the type of bread that doesn't brown up or like you have to I've never used this bread before. I've never eaten this bread before, to my knowledge. So, it's kind of a rule of the dice. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Anyways, um, I will be done soonish, I hope. I mean, for you guys, it'll be soonish, but for me, I'm just here twiddling my thumbs. But for uh, toppings, we'll add some honey, some caramel, and some ice cream. Usually you put like strawberries on it, but um, for right now, I'm not eating strawberries because in my tradition, my cultural tradition, we don't eat strawberries for like the first few months of the year because like traditionally you wouldn't be able to harvest strawberries during this time. So like, it's just a Native American thing that my family and some other tribes does. So I'm waiting for like the blessing of the berries. So yeah, no strawberries right now, but strawberries, I think after April, Soonish. Oh, I'm excited. I've never tried this caramel before. Mm. I love caramel. So let's. Mmm. Hmm. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I wonder if this has to be refrigerated. Because I've had it in the cabinet. 
refrigerator after opening. So I guess now it has to go in the refrigerator. Okay, see you later. Bye. Oh, I got it browned. So apparently, I had to broil it. So that's how I got it browned. Cause like I was going on 30 minutes there, and I did not know why I wasn't browning. So let me. It's very hot. Like it broils very quickly. That would have been like the 10 minutes. So, ta-da. Can you see it? Okay, and now I'm going to assemble it and make it all pretty. One. Hot. There. There's our, our <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Putting all the little chunks inside. <laughs> I'm sure I could have flipped it over and stuff, so like all sides got brown, but I was getting impatient. Make it all pretty. Bam. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna do a light drizzle of a little bit more honey. smoking. There we go. Now we're gonna get the caramel. Do you say caramel or caramel? That's the question. Whoops. Whoops. I wanted to drizzle it. It's a lot, a lot of caramel. Okay, okay, okay. Getting ahead of myself there. Mmm, I love caramel. And for the finishing touch, I have this Mauna Loa. Ooh, do you see it's steaming, like smoking? <laughs> Mauna Loa macadamia nut, ma ma blah, 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 blah. Mauna Loa macadamia nut milk frozen dessert. Ice cream but it's like non-dairy ice cream. So hopefully it still tastes good. different but it's not bad I mean definitely not good if you are allergic to nuts that's for sure I'm just gonna try and get some ice cream on here Cream. But ta da! Honey toast! Let's try it. I usually eat it with the fork. I did it! Mmm! If you're ever in Oahu, try Shokudo. Their honey toast is top tier. But this, this is, this is great. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Give me the toast, you. Mm. Okay, I have to share this with someone, but thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for you guys today. This recipe is by Chopstick Chronicles. Uh, make sure to give it a try and look out the link down below sure to broil it <laughs> and yeah so this is for you Michaela hope you enjoyed it okay love you guys make sure to like and subscribe see you soon bye